Hello and welcome back to uh, this episode of The Broken Stove. Skipper and Lucy and I want to welcome each and every one of you. Today we're going to be preparing some more of our great stuff for a Chinese New Year celebration that we get together with our uh, family and friends. So we have to start getting that ready and more about that here in a little bit. Also want to talk to you about the Bay Bullet. It's our area local newspaper. It tells you everything that's going on in and around Bay County, Panama City, Panama City Beach. And I'm really excited about this right here. The Boat Parade. It is a fun event. It's where all the boats get all lit up and they parade them from marina to marina. It's always a great time for all ages. The last parade that we had was the uh, JC's Parade through downtown. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we watched it on TV. It was very, very well. Anyway, I want y'all to go to thebaybull.com, subscribe. If you want to know what's going on in and around Panama City, Panama City Beach, Bay County area, this is going to be your newspaper. If you're planning a trip to our area, you're going to want this to find out what's going on in our area, you know, where the bands are playing, local columnists. And we have a lot of stuff always going on, especially this time of year. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, we want to thank you for watching, and there'll be more of the Broke Stove coming right up. Oh, and yeah, I do believe in Santa Claus. Chinese New Year. Basically Chinese takeout New Year. Who doesn't like Chinese takeout? Uh, but what we're doing is each one of us that's going to be attending this gathering, we all have our specialty. I have one person doing cashew chicken, somebody doing some Asian slaw. I personally am going to do lumpia. And lumpia basically is a Filipino version of egg rolls, which means that it's much skinnier and uh, thinner uh, texture of the wrap that you're using. It's a very thin pastry that you're using. Uh, it's, it, it takes a lot of work to use it. Egg roll wrappers are very thick. Um, if you have egg rolls at a Chinese restaurant, they're very, very thick and they're very doughy. This is very thin, very crispy. It takes a lot of work to do this. So the reason that I do so many at one time is because it takes so much work. So if you're gonna make 30, you might as well make 60 because it takes that much work. Um, I have cut down some of the work. I've bought, uh, my ingredients are gonna be ground chicken. Um, ground chicken, there it is. Uh, finely shredded cabbage and carrot. I just bought a coleslaw mix. So I'm finely shredded carrots. And you know, the reason I buy this is because I check the prices on cabbage, heads of cabbage, carrots, and by the time I shred it all up and, 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 and make it all thin and, and usable in this dish, it costs just the same. So you might as well have it ready for you to do. Um, the lumpia wrappers, there's two ways you can buy them. Um, these are really easy to use. They are individually separated, which makes it very useful. And I'm gonna use these first. So each wrapper is very, thin, but they're individually separated. So there's the paper and there's the wrapper. Okay. And I'm going to roll, I'll show y'all when I cook my ingredients, I'm going to show y'all roll it up, then I'll separate it and then I'll roll the next one. And what I'm going to use with these papers is I'm going to roll up the lumpia and then I'm going to roll it up in this wrapper and then I'm going to freeze them. I'm going to freeze everything that I make today. I'm not cooking them today. They're going to be cooked and wrapped. The filling's going to be cooked and wrapped, frozen. Then when it's time for our dinner and, and our get-together, you just take them out of the freezer, 
and you do just drop them in the deep fryer and they turn out fresh rinse restaurant style and it just it's time consuming but it's worth every minute this is the easy version of doing the Olympia wrappers the, the individually separated ones um, the store that I went to which is a little uh, Asian store that's right down the road Miss Mama Faye she's a wonderful lady she has everything you need to make Asian food she ran out of the uh, individually separated ones so here's the other box these are uh, the same wrappers but they're not separated by paper it's time consuming it takes a lot of patience to separate these if you're new trying to do this buy these individually separated ones less time consuming so but I'm gonna make so much more of these that I'm gonna use these probably have to go to these but I'm experienced I can do this one but I'm gonna do the easy way first so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ground chicken, onions, garlic, uh, cook that all together. We got soy sauce, we have uh, a little bit of ginger. Um, we're gonna cook all that together. Um, I'll show you what, as we go, but the vegetable part of it, uh, once the meat mixture is done and cooked, you don't cook these vegetables. You just dump them in the pot as, at the end of the cooking process for the meat. You don't want these cooked because when you roll them up and put them in your wrappers and you deep fry them, that's when this part's going to get cooked. If you cook it first, this stuff will disappear in your, in your lumpia, your spring roll. So anyway, I'll get started and that's what we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to start sauteing everything together. I've got um, about one and a half chopped onion, a bunch of minced garlic, You've got to have a lot of garlic when you're doing lumpia or anything like that. Um, I have a little hint of ginger. I used uh, powdered ginger. I was going to get some store-bought fresh ginger root today, but it's really expensive this time of year, and I wasn't going to pay that much money. So I used some ground ginger that I had, just a little hint of it. It's no big deal. Um, I'm going to add some soy sauce. This is going to cook down until the meat is fully cooked together. Once the meat is cooked together uh, and it's completely cooked and done, then I'm just going to throw the uh, pre-shredded vegetables in there and just let it cool off completely. You want your mixture com uh, completely cooled before you start rolling up your uh, lumpia. Um, add a bunch of soy sauce. Use low sodium. Um, because you can always add salt. You need a bunch of soy sauce for flavor. That's actually a lot of meat right there. That's probably going to make a whole lot of lumpia. That's all right, though. I can do it. I got some fresh ground pepper in there. Um low sodium soy sauce and I'm gonna tell you what we do at the end of this cooking process you want to thicken any kind of juices that are in here because you don't want it to run through your wrappers when you're trying to roll them up so at the very end of the cooking process I'm gonna to stir together a little bit of cornstarch a little bit of soy sauce a little bit of flavoring and put it in here and it's gonna make any juice that's in here thick so that way, and when it cools off, it's going to be a very thick mixture. No running juices at all. You don't want that. It'll go right through your wrapper, and it'll ruin your spring rolls or your lumpia. So I'll show you how to do that at the end. In the meantime, this ground chicken. Now, I'm using ground chicken today because it was on sale. I do like ground pork. I hardly ever use ground beef. Um, that's just, to me, that's just not really good in lumpia or spring rolls or egg rolls or anything like that. Um, the ground chicken was on sale today. I priced the ground pork. It was a whole lot more expensive than the ground chicken. And who doesn't like a chicken egg roll or a chicken spring roll or anything like that? So that's what we're talking about. All right, the chicken meat mixture is done with the nice onions and garlic and soy sauce and the natural juices from the chicken. There's no fat. 
Um, it's ground up chicken. There's actually no fat. It's ground up white meat chicken. The juices are coming from the soy sauce and the natural juices from the chicken. We need to thicken this juice that's in here because you cannot roll your egg rolls or spring rolls, not even egg rolls. Um, you just can't roll this with all this liquid. So, like I said before, we're going to add a slurry mixture. That's where we're going to take some cornstarch. couple of teaspoons of cornstarch. Alright, I'm actually going to add just a little tiny bit of chicken bouillon just to enhance the flavor just a little bit. Um, that's why we're using the low sodium soy sauce. Put that in there, just a little bit more. We're going to thicken this to where it's almost congealed, almost, because you want to be able to roll it up, and then once you fry it, it just becomes this natural, yummy, juicy little bit of lumpia. You want to mix your cornstarch with all your liquids first, because if you throw cornstarch in here and hot, you're not going to get anything but big lumps of cornstarch. So I'm going to dissolve this cornstarch in the water and a little bit of chicken bouillon, a little bit of soy sauce. And there's your slurry right there. And once I add this to this liquid, this is instantly going to thicken up. Once it thickens up, I'm going to add my shredded cabbage, shredded carrots. That's also going to have some juices that are going to come off of it naturally. So we want this all, once it cools down, we want it almost like, um, almost not really a solid, but really thick. Because once you deep fry it, then all that's going to loosen up and it's going to be really juicy on the inside of the lumpia and crunchy and crispy on the outside and none of that juice will leak through your wrappers. It's important that your juices don't leak through those wrappers. That's actually one of the biggest mistakes that you can make is too runny of your filling and ruin your wrapper. In the frying process, it ruins it. It gets in the oil. It's not a pretty sight. So, anyway, there's my slurry. Actually, it smells really good. And you'll watch, this is gonna instantly thicken up. It's gonna get really thick right here. And then I'm just gonna throw in those uncooked cabbage and carrots. It's, it's getting thick as we speak, and it smells so good. It's getting really thick, and that's what you want. And then once this is done cooking, throw in the shredded cabbage and carrots. Don't even cook that at all. You don't need to. It's going to cook when it deep fries. Look how thick that is, and that's exactly what you want. Yummy. Um, this is going to make a whole lot of lumpia. I have a whole long night ahead of me. Okay. Alright. This meat mixture with the onions and the garlic and the soy sauce and ginger and um, the slurry that we made with the cornstarch to, to thicken it. This is a very thick meat base. Fully cooked. I'm going to turn the oven off, or turn the stove off. We're not going to cook this any longer. It's nice and thick and yummy and flavorful. And I can just smell the Asian spices and flavors coming out of there. I'm going to go ahead and dump. That's a lot of lumpia right there. I got my work cut out for me. Um, that's why I like to take shortcuts. Like I said, it's cost effective just to buy this the way it is then then having to bring it all home and cut it up yourself to me that's just so much work because that's going to be a lot of work right there so give your do yourself a favor okay this is off i'm going to take it off the heat so these vegetables don't cook you don't want them to cook because they're going to cook when it's deep fried 
and when they deep fry, you're going to get the natural crunch of the carrots, you're going to get the natural crunch of the cabbage, and you want that when you bite into lumpia or spring rolls or egg rolls. You want that crunch. Um, I want this cool just a little bit, and then I'm going to add the carrots and cabbage mixture. I'll show you what it looks like when that's all done. I'm going to let that cool just a little bit longer. I really don't want this to cook. I don't want it to wilt down. I don't want it to get any more liquid that's in here already. I don't want it to make any more. I have a secret that I usually do, and I'm sure nobody else does this, but for some reason I do. At the air, very end of me adding my carrots and my cabbage, I take just a, one can of French cut green beans. Don't know what it is. Maybe it's not Asian, maybe it's American, throwing it into a uh, lumpia spring roll, but I just throw one can of shredded cut, French cut, excuse me, green beans. Throw it in there, don't have to cook these either. To me, it just gives more flavor, more color, and more texture, and you're not going to believe how these turn out. the shredded carrots. They're matchstick carrots, which, you know, they can be softened just a little bit. You don't want to put the coleslaw in or the, the shredded cabbage in because that'll just um, whittle away when you're cooking it. It'll disappear. So I'm going to put that in now. Put half of it in at a time. Also, when you, please look through your cabbage because there's like big chunks right there of close to the core. And if you have those in there, um, that's basically going to cut through your uh, your uh, your wrappers, your lumpia wrappers, and you don't want that to happen. You don't want it to poke through the wrappers. So these are kind of hard pieces right here. You don't want that in there. Um, so let me just toss this in. That all looks good, though. Oh, that's just so beautiful. I can just smell all this. And like I said... Believe it or not, one can of French style cut green beans, for some reason to me it just adds a beautiful touch. Once it fries up. <clears throat> now we all decided to have this little get together and it's not just for one Asian culture. We all love Asian food. Um, we have a nice little Asian market right down the street. Miss Faye, thank you very much. She has anywhere from Japanese to Filipino to Korean to Taiwan to Vietnamese, everything that you would want for Asian culture or cuisine, she has it at her store. She teaches me a lot of things. Also, I've learned because I used to live in uh, Pacific, Asia Pacific, which was very wonderful. Anyway, so we're going to have a whole mixture of Asian cuisine, cuisine on our Asian New Year. And everybody's going to share their specialty dishes that they know, they know how to make. I'm going to mix this all together and I'm going to start rolling these up in a minute. What I do is I roll them up and I freeze them. And reason being is because that's how they cook best. You 
you got your frozen lumpia all ready to go and you put them in the freezer individually wrapped and when it's time for your dinner or your party or whatever you're having just drop them in a deep fryer as you need them and they're fresh and delicious and better than a restaurant. All right, my filling mixture is completely cooled and just, I just can't even tell you how good that smells and how perfect that looks. It's perfectly thick. Um, it's, there's, there's nothing that's gonna seep through those wrappers and I'm gonna individually roll each one and freeze them individually and you fry them as needed and they turn out so perfect you would not believe that is just wonderful all right i've got my i'm using my individually wrapped uh individually separated which i should say these are so easy to use for beginners um this pack right here is not individually separated so you have to spend a little time separating each piece and i'll show you how paper thin they are the individually separated uh, Olympia wrappers, which is basically Filipino spring rolls. This is how thin they are, okay? And the reason that it's so easy to work with, it's got a, it's got a piece of uh, cellophane paper between them. Now, this package right here, there's nothing between these things, and you have to separate them by yourself, and it takes a lot of patience, but she ran out of these at my little Asian store down the street, Miss Faye. But anyway, I can use those later on, but beginners don't need to use these. It takes a lot of patience and a lot of time to work with those. Anyway, individual, okay? And the reason that this is so awesome is because when you roll up the spring roll, or lumpia is what we're making. It's also a Filipino spring roll is basically what it is, okay? Once I roll this up, they're so soft and pliable. Once I roll this up, I'm gonna roll it back up into this wrapper and freeze it. And they're individually wrapped. So I need my glasses to do this, but I'm gonna show you how it's done. And I probably have about 75 or 80 to roll with all this filling right here. It's completely cooled and that's what you want. It's thick, It's once it's deep fried in the, in the oil, it's so juicy on the inside and fully cooked. All right, so you take a nice, spoonful it doesn't have to be really that much because you don't want them fat they're lumpia lumpia is not fat egg rolls are fat all right so put it in position and also i forgot i have an egg wash right here and my little pastry brush and that this is my glue okay so just believe it or not it's just one spoonful you wouldn't think that it you would think that it'd be more than that, but you don't want too much because you don't want to bust open your your wrappers. There you go. Put it nice in a line right there. This takes a little practice, but it's not hard. It's not rocket science. It's actually very easy. That's beautiful just like that. All right, so you're gonna tuck this over as tight as you can. Tuck it under right there. Roll it, tuck it. Take your sides. Almost like rolling a burrito. What the heck? There you go. Roll it up. See, no juices are coming through the skin. I mean, you cannot have juices rolling through that. You will ruin everything that you make. You roll this up. Put a little bit of egg wash right there. It's your glue. It's like sealing an envelope, basically. There you go. Seal your little envelope right there. And look how beautiful that is. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start rolling these individually. This is going to go in the freezer. Just like, look how beautiful that is. That's absolutely beautiful. That's going to go in the freezer, but I'm going to make another one. All right. This uh, pre-separated um, little skins are just, that's the way to go. It's cost a little more to do it that way, but... I can do it that way, but it takes a lot of patience and a lot of skill. I'd rather do it this way. I think this uh, bowl of uh, meat mixture and filling is going to do about 70 lumpia. And this is 30, 30, that's 50 in that box. 
but I'll, I'll do my 30 and 30 first, see if I have any left, and then I'll do the difficult task of, so once again, pull it over, make a burrito, snug it up, just like that. You want them skinny, okay? Then once you get halfway through the, the wrapper, pull that side over, pull that side over, and continue rolling. And look how just easy and beautiful that is. So easy and so beautiful. All right, there's two. Put the seam side down while you're doing this. So that way it glues itself together. Do another one. It's quick, it goes quick. You want these wrappers, because I'm gonna roll these up individually in these leftover wrappers here. I mean the, the uh, plastic wrappers. This is so easy compared to that one. Oh goodness, so easy. So thin. That's the difference of lumpia and, and egg rolls. Egg rolls are very fat dough. It's almost like biting into a donut. That's why lumpia is just way better. You can put whatever you want in the middle. You can put whatever you want. You can put beef, you can put pork, you can put chicken. Pull it over, tuck it in. Easy, easy. Roll it up, eh, splitting, but that's okay. I'm gonna tuck it, tuck it, fold it over, just like burritos. Put a little bit of glue. Well, that's three. I got about 80 more to go. Beautiful. I'm gonna wrap these up individually. I'm gonna do one more and I'm gonna wrap them up. I'm gonna start freezing them here in a minute. You want to freeze, or you want to deep fry them when they're frozen. Why not? Just like everything else, if you deep fry them fresh, all that liquid you want to fro you want it frozen. You want to you want to roll them and freeze them and then deep fry them. If you want to if you roll it fresh and then fry it fresh, it's too warm. Um, too warm. You might everything might seep out of your uh, wrappers, and you don't want that to happen. If you come across a big piece of cabbage like that that's going to cut through your skin, get rid of it. So this is so beautiful. I think this is the best I've ever done right here. Alright, one more. Tuck. Tuck and roll. Tuck and up. Believe it or not, it's pretty pliable. They're very delicate, but they're pretty pliable. A little bit of glue. And there you go. All right, these are all, I'm gonna individually wrap these right here and then I'm gonna start throwing these in the freezer. You wanna put them in the freezer as quick as you can because, there you go. And there's that one. That's the beauty of these individually wrapped um, lumpia skins because you can use, you can double use the uh, papers freeze them up like that they don't stick together they individually freeze and guess what if you want five for dinner if you want eight for dinner freeze a hundred of them and take out oh we want eight for dinner tonight or we want ten for dinner tonight they're individually wrapped they don't stick together there you go beautiful well, while we're wrapping things up no pun intended we want to thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy it. I know that we're going to enjoy these in about a couple of weeks at our New Year's gathering with our family and friends. Uh, stay tuned next week. We've got something else coming up for you. And until then, remember, you can't get this stuff in a restaurant because this is... The Broken Stove. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. There's more later on. Y'all have a great day. Thank you.